Hello and welcome to Dumb and Drummer, the greatest game show ever in the world that is also on the Idols YouTube channel. Feel free to play along at home or maybe just sit down and enjoy the game show with a refreshing Beaver Town beer. Other beverages are available, but they are all wank. And with us, as always, is Dumb and Drummer themselves from Idols. It's Dev and John. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Their opponents this evening are George and James from Heavy Lung. How are you guys doing? Yes. All right. I'm straight yeah, off the bat, I'm like going to give them just one point to start just because they're in the same room. Oh, ah, that's forward. You'll, like, you'll get a loose with yeah, these this points, is, man. You'll get this is like the last week all over again. again. Okay, you guys, guys out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Round number one Wrong. of Dumb and Drummer, the final in the series <laughs> of Dumb and Drummer, is a round called Name the Song Intro. I'm going to sing you some intros of songs, and you have to guess the intro of the song. There you go. That's question number one. Name the song intro. As you're the guest, Heavy Lung, I'm coming to you first. That's my Sharona. I'm going to need a band name as well. Yeah, see. I can never remember band names. Like this is. Idols, idols. Uh, Dev and John, what did you guys get? Yeah. I had the oh, Nats. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, see, I had whatever Dev said. So the Nat. I'm going with the Nat. <laughs> oh, my so God. Double but, points, right. I'm going right. to give you guys two points for knowing the band name. I'm going to give the Heavy Lung one point, for, which, takes, which makes the scores an even 2-2 two, two at the moment. Okay. I'll make it up. Here we go. <laughs> Question number two, name the song intro. Oh, yeah, is that? Okay, for question number two, I'm going straight over to Heavy Lungs. Oh, yeah, I didn't write any, any, anything down. Uh, <laughs> cool, what do you think it is? I reckon it's... I've got an idea. Uh, run, run, run DMC. DMC. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I would, I would say. say. Do you know the name of the song? Walk, walk, walk this way. way. Oh my god, okay. Idols, what did you guys get? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Right. Aerosmith and Run DMC. Walk this way. So that's a point for each band, making the score 3-3 three, three, as we move up to the final question of Name the Band. Here we go. Okay, here's your hint. It's a cowbell. The intro of the song is a cowbell. Okay, here we go. Oh, it is. I've got it. Got it. Yeah. Do you think you've already got it, both of you? Yeah. No, I completely, I completely bluffed and then you changed the pattern. Sorry. I got it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heavy lungs. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy lungs seem, I'm going to say, violently confident. With uh, their 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 guest, yeah. what did what did you guys get? Uh, we got ZZ Top, Low Rider. Oh, bird idols. What did you guys get? Boom, right there, the top. Uh, it was actually originally done by a band called War, but I'm going to give it to yeah, you. Yeah, but nobody get. knows. Yeah, that. exactly. I'm with George on this. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Well, that's a point each for both. <laughs> And, but also a point for me, because I got the original version right. At the end of round one, the scores currently in Dumb and Drummer are four to Idols and four to Heavy Lungs as we move on to round two of Dumb and Drummer. Round two is called What Happens Next? I'm going to show you three clips from music videos. They are multiple choice answers. And I want you to simply tell me what happens next in this music video. Your options are A, a vat of uh, single cream falls on them, B, the band fall through a CGI black hole, or C, the best dancing that has ever happened, happens. A, B, reckon, or C. Yeah. Heavy lungs, what did you I get? Reckon, oh, I'm, I'm going to go with C. I feel like that's yeah. plausible. The yeah. best dancing that has ever happened, happened. Idols, what do you guys reckon? I think B. Yeah. I'm thinking B as well. I'm we'll thinking go B. With B. Spice yeah. it up a bit. 
Have a look at your answers. The correct answer was C, which puts heavy lungs in the lead. <laughs> there we go. Just fell from the skies. Current scores five to four. Uh, let's move on to question number two. It's Sammy Hagar's hit single, Hands and Knees. Okay, so you're often A. He creates a of uh, of female robots and they melt when they explode when they see his solo or b uh, sammy hagar duplicates himself and the band go on tour or c sammy hagar plays on his own but he electrocutes himself and wakes up with superpowers is it a b or c heavy lungs i think two's more as in more b likely. yeah a b or c two go with b <laughs> two we'll, we'll go with b you're changing your answer we'll to, to b okay. we'll go with two b yeah. B being Sammy Hagar completes his band by duplicating himself and they go on tour together. Yeah. Okay, idols. Logic. A, B, or C? A seems like the most 80s power move, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with A. A, is. a for idols, and we're going with B for heavy lungs. Guys, take a look at your videos and let's find out the answer. The correct yeah. answer was A. Sammy Hagar a band of female rebels, which means idols win a point and heavy <laughs> lines do not win a point, which I believe makes the scores equal. Which moves us on to the final question of round two. What happens next? Let's take a look at the clip. It's Celine Dion and Tommy Koberg singing their song from the 1992 Disney musical hit, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, what happens next in this video? Is it A, Tommy Koberg does an unplanned vocal solo and Celine Dion gives him the frostiest stare that's ever happened? Is it B, a wedding cake on the left of the stage falls on an elderly woman? Or is it C, the drummer faints, but Celine Dion finishes the song a cappella as a medical team carries him off the stage because she's a professional? A, B, or C? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to Heavy Lungs first. What do you guys think happens? A, uh, Does it sound like he's about, about to go? go Wedding he's about to go for a solo. He is. Do you think? Yeah. I can that's see it so in his eye. He's it. like, oh, he's, about, he's, he's ready. <laughs> yeah, you can see it in his hand. See it in his hand. He's like, I'm going to ready. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, John and Dev, what are you guys choosing? A, B, or C? For the best. Yeah. I'll go with A. It's Definitely a unanimous A. a. Tommy does an unplanned vocal solo and Celine Dion gives him the frostiest stare that's ever happened. Let's take a look at the answer to clip number three. <laughs> she, she looks genuinely, she looks so pissed off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, I, well, I, I better do one as well then. She's gone. Cool. Hey. Pretty good without sound. <laughs> That's a little bit like when you see like oh, people me. at award ceremonies who just get caught completely short and they yeah, think yeah. that they've won and they're trying to look <laughs> happy, but they're just not. You can just see it, they're not happy. Do you know what? I'm going to give a bonus point to whoever in the screens here can do the best. Um, Fuck, I can't believe we didn't fucking win, but then go to a nice applause. All right, so the winner of the Oscar soundtrack for Spider-Man 14 is between Idols, Young, Heavy Lungs, and Blink-182. And the winner is Blink-182. Fucking hell. All right, I'm going to give a point to Idols for Dev's reaction. That was fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they were all surprised. Dev. Like Correct answer was A, Tommy does an unplanned solo and Celine Dion gives him the frostiest look that's ever happened. 
which means at the end of round two, the current scores are Idols in the lead ever so slightly with seven heavy lungs trailing behind with a heavy breath. Six. It was a joke. Uh, never mind. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, let's move on to round three. <laughs> round three is called Name That Band from the Drawing of That Band. Let me explain how this round works. You, there, there are three pictures that you are going to see, and they, they explain the type of band, the name of the band, the name of the artist. Let's take a look at round three. Name That Band from the Drawing of That Band. I'm going to go to Idols first on this round. Uh, John, what did you get? Oh, mate, I've just got Seagull Ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, what you're I'm, back to, I'm back to just saying what I'm seeing, you know, gold pills. <laughs> Third drug. Uh, Dev, what did you get? Pinger girls. Yes. <laughs> um, I've, I've got no ideas. Uh, heavy lungs, what did you guys get? Sex to see. Oh! See? <laughs> I don't know. Ecstasy Eagles. Uh, the correct answer is Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, I was thinking that, but then uh, oh, I didn't write it down. Say what you see. Fuck. If I could, I'd give a point for your no, fantastic contribution of, of potential band names. Um, so I'm going to give you both a bonus point. <laughs> so now it's eight to seven. All right, let's move on to image number two. Um, uh, I'm going to go first to uh, Dev. What did you get? I've got car... <laughs> nothing. I've got nothing. No, no. <laughs> what did this you is write? mental. I, I, it's because John said I've got it, and I was like, I don't have to think about it. What this. did you write then? Cut it. I wrote I, nothing. I wrote nothing. <laughs> you said you got it, and I was like, yeah, that oh, right. I was just looking at it. <laughs> Confident, man. Okay, I'm going to move this over to John John Beavis. You looked incredibly confident. I really hope you've got this right. Got Justin Bieber. Heavy lungs. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh. Say. That's better. Yeah. Juice well, I mean, better than the right answer. <laughs> Carlton Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> you're one syllable off being right there as well, by the way. But you're not. You're wrong. Oh, yeah, half a point. The point goes to... Idols taking the score to nine to seven. Fuck yeah. Smashed it, John. Congratulations. Uh, question number three of name that band from the drawing of the band. Okay. I'm going to go to Idols. Oh my God, you guys look so... I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to sit in silence while I'm just enjoying this. Have you got anything? Fuck no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's a punk band. Mm. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Shit. Oh, okay. All right. Because you sound so confident, I'm going to go to Heavy Lungs. What did you guys get? What's on the pizza box? <laughs> Carlton Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we just we've gone with Carlton Beaver because <laughs> we saw that. What are the odds that it's not going to be him? <laughs> One day it will be. Uh, and um, uh, Dev, what did you get? Mad, Mad Ram. Ram. Mad Ram. Mad Ram. <laughs> I got the Ramones. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 Absolutely. Because Ram. Because oh! Ram Grumpy is just not. That's just not a thing, is it? Do you know what? If yeah. I was a school teacher giving an end of year report, I would say that you've shone in this round, John Beavis. I'd say you've really found your feet. And you've and you've really figured out how to say what you see. Have you just given me the most improved award? That's the worst award. Yeah. <laughs> They're the most cowardly. Hold on, how long is this? <laughs> the answer was the Ramones, which at the end of round three means that it's idols ten, heavy lungs seven. Heavy lungs are going to have to do some particularly good quizzing in the next round to equalise this. Let's move on to the final round of Dumb and Drummer. It's Heavy Lungs versus Idols. The current score is 10 to 7. Heavy Lungs are losing. It's getting fucking tense. The final round is called Bob Dylan Sings. It's a brand new round. I'm going to play you Great. three songs on the guitar in the style of Bob Dylan, but they're not Bob Dylan songs. They're other popular songs. And I want you to tell me what the songs are. Okay. And no pressure on Heavy Lungs, but you have to get all of these right. And idols have to get all of them wrong to not win. 
this uh, to not equalize and be in a chance with winning an all expenses paid trip to Euro Disney. All right, here we go. Question number one. Well, hi, kids. Do you like violence? Want to see me stick nine inch nails? Do we put some of my eyelids? Want to copy me? Do exactly like I did. Try ass city, get back up, work some of my life, get my brain dead way. Trying to get my head straight, can't figure out which spice girl I want to break name. Dr. Gray said, Slim Shady, you would raise your hand, man, yeah, man, you wasted. <laughs> name the song, and I'm gonna give I'm oh, gonna give two points if you can oh. get the name of the song and the name of the artist. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm feeling generous. Okay, all right, I'm moving over. Fuck. Heavy lungs, did you get that? Yeah, I've got I got Eminem. Do you know the name of the song? Uh hey, why fuck. That's a no. <laughs> What's the song? The song he does. Uh, you know, it's a fucking Carlton Beaver. Yeah, Carlton Beaver. Uh, no, uh, Slim Shady. I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm moving over to John. What did you get? Well, I started writing Willie Nelson, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he said Slim Shady, so I gave up. <laughs> so. Adam Devonshire. Oh my God, he's fucking got it. I got Eminem. <laughs> Two uh, points to Idols and one point to Heavy Lungs. It was Eminem, My Name Is, in the style of Bob Dylan. Here we go. Here's question number two. Well, Tommy used to work on the docks. Junior's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough. Well, Gina works a diner all day. Working for a man. She brings uh, home a pay for love. But she says we got to hold on to what we got. No, it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. No, because we've got each other. And that's a lot of love. Name the song, name the artist. Okay, all right, it. heavy line. What, what did you guys get? For Bob Dylan sings, question number two. Bon Jovi living on a prayer. <laughs> John, Dev, let me see your answers, please. Bon Jovi. It was Bon Jovi. Oh, that's it, Dave. Living Good lad. Living on a prayer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too much Bon Jovi, whoa. mate. The question is, how much Bon Jovi can you have? And the answer is never enough. Okay. Do you know what? Minus two points for slagging off Bon Jovi. I will not have that <laughs> on this game show. How dare you? John Bon Jovi is an icon, a saint. He's New Jersey's prince, and you guys are losing two points. <laughs> for slagging off the, the most kind-hearted man in North America. Dev, I'm sorry, man. I do it, I do it far too much. <laughs> if we lose this, you're buying me a fucking steak, mate. It's, I mean, it does sound like you're in the middle of rural Wales with your internet connection, so just come over to Bristol, mate. <laughs> Walk here. <laughs> Which means before the penultimate question of the season finale of Dumb and Drummer, the current scores are 12 to idols and 10 to Heavy Lungs, uh, which means that Heavy Lungs have to get this question right and Idols have to get this question wrong to so go to a nail-biting tie-break question. Let's see what this song is. The final question of Bob Dylan Sings. Okay, here we go. I want to know the artist. I want to know the song. See that painting the rock did. It looks like he was painted oh, by a two-year-old kid. Well, he knew it splits, yeah. Well, I'm not pleased because he's spreading your opinion like COVID disease. I don't know what it was. That was it. I want to know the artist and I want to know the song. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go to, with heavy lungs, heavy lungs. It's tense, what did you guys get? The final question of the quiz. We're trying to speak. Uh, we went for idols, Stendhal syndrome. They got idols with Stendhal syndrome. And moving over to idols. <laughs> what did you get? Did you get it right? Dev, what did you get? <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you, you did. Yeah, yeah good lads, good lads. Thank, we, yeah. We're still in the band. Fuck. Am I right? <laughs> Just a brief moment of silence while I check what the answer is. I can tell you that the final answer of Dumb and Drummer was 
Idols with Stendhal Syndrome. Which means the final score of the season finale of Dumb and Drummer is Idols with 14 and Heavy Lines with 12, which means Idols are the winner, which means at the season finale they've tied, which means we technically have to go to a second series. Congratulations, guys. Idols, you've done it. Oh! Oh, twist. I've done it. Uh, guys, uh, Heavy Lines, I'm so sorry, but you did put up a good fight. I think that was a pretty close effort considering that Carlton Beaver was the answer for 90% of your questions. Which brings us to the end of the season finale of Dumb and Drummer. My name is Josh Weller. Thank you, Idols. Thank you, Heavy Lungs. And we'll see you potentially, maybe, for season two. Dumb and Drummer! Drummer! Dumb.